Oh my god, I think I just named my bike. I just named my bike. My bike's name is... Ah, yes. Hello, ladies and gents, boys and girls. Welcome to the vlog. This is Moden Noir. Thank you very much for watching. All I am doing today is going over to my friend's place to help him install a uh, TV mount. <laughs> he said he doesn't have all the tools necessary to do it, so I do. So I'm coming to the rescue. I'm gonna help my brother out. Uh, yeah, man, it is a freaking warm day. It's like 80 degrees, 80 stinking degrees. On my walk over from my apartment to the garage, I actually started sweating. <laughs> like, what in the world? Uh, not complaining. Not complaining at all. It is gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. And my friend is a Queens resident. He lives in Long Island City. So that is, uh, that's where we're heading. To good old Long Island City. Some good peeps live over in Queens. Two of them being some of my best friends. Okay. Now I have to ride like a good boy because uh, the speed limits through here are photo enforced. New York has put up quite a bit of speed cameras everywhere, all throughout the city, especially in Manhattan. Yo, you can't ride like I, or at least I can't ride like I used to ride uh, in Manhattan anymore because of the speed cameras. So I guess they're doing their jobs. They're keeping everyone in check. But man, I mean, it's 25 mile an hour speed limit in Manhattan and or pretty much everywhere um, in New York on all the streets and my friends it gets a little bit boring riding 25 miles an hour i don't know if i'm getting this but i have no idea what this is for i seriously hope i do not get caught behind these guys uh okay i don't does anyone know what flag that is i have no idea and we got this street all torn up that's fun to ride on not dangerous at all. Just gotta ride with confidence when you have a street like this and find the <laughs> the line where there's the less gravel, the least gravel, I should say. I think I'm, this guy's taking up all the space what he needs. Hopefully this doesn't last much longer. My goodness, I don't want to ride on this. This is not fun. WTF! Look at that. He's like, no, screw it. I'm not riding on that. It's got the right idea. Me, on the other hand, I'm a hooligan and I have the wrong ideas. There we go. Awesome. Wow. Nope, nope, wrong, wrong. I had the wrong idea there. <laughs> oh well, okay. Hi, Spike. That was like riding on dirt back there, you know? <laughs> like, instead of using the front tire, because if you're on the front tire, if you're using the front uh, uh, brakes when you're on gravel like that, your front is just gonna wash away, or could potentially wash away. So you wanna focus on using the rear tire, or the rear brakes, I should say. Jeez, I cannot talk. Please, I want to go a little faster. Muchos gracias, senor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Nothing too crazy. I am, after all, a very good boy when it comes to speed. All right, let's see. I am turning left on Jackson Ave. Got it. Wow, that was really stinking quick. Wait, am I turning left here? Yeah, I guess so. All right, bing, bang, boom. I'm like basically there. I have my lock with me, I am good to go. Very importante. 
I don't care where you are. New York City, San Francisco, Dallas, Chicago. Man, you park your bike anywhere, have a disc lock with you. There's been so many stolen bikes in the city recently and all of them could have been at least, you know, deterred the people enough to make them look elsewhere if you have a disc lock. It just doesn't make any sense not to have a disc lock. Like, seriously. It looks good to me. Okay, let's go get this TV installed. Alright, kids, I'm back on the bike. Got my friend's uh, TV installed for him. Get my jacket zipped up here. Silly me. What are you stopping for? <laughs> you know, I don't do that all the time, but you know, you need to every now and then. You need to know the limits. <laughs> yeah, so I got to catch up with my friend a little bit and we had a good conversation. But it was also nice that he reached out. He knew that I'm a, a handy person. So <laughs> he was like, Ryan, I need you. I need your tools and your help. So, I'm glad that uh, he thought of me. And he's not very far. Like, literally, it took me, what, 15 minutes to get to his place? If that? Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Oh, riding in the dirt again. Oh, boy. All right, cover the rear brake. Use the rear brake, peoples, when you're riding on this crap. It's actually one of the first things you learn whenever you, uh, you learn how to ride on dirt. Is, uh that you need to use the rear brake more than you use the, the front. Matter of fact, whenever I get into a gravelly situation, I just forget that I even have the front brake and mostly just use the, uh, uh, the rear. It just gives you more control. It just gives you more control in a slow speed situation where you just need to be stable. And when the road is like this, uh, there is one thing to remember when there's when it's on the street and you know the streets all fucking crappy like this all of the debris tends to gather towards the middle of any lane or on the outskirts of the lane but where uh, car tires tend to be which is on the left or the far right uh, portions of any lane uh, there tends to be less gravel and debris So therefore, safer for a motorcycle, just like when it's raining. Remember that, kids, it'll save your life one day. Oh wait, oh crap, I shouldn't be getting on. Ah, uh, poop, 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 poop. Oh, never mind. I'm okay. Oh, uh, look at all these squids. Oh, look at these squids. Lovely squids and squidettes. Sorry, I had to uh, put all of those assholes to shame. I had to shame them. I had to smack them on their behinds and show them who the real daddy is. And that's me, okay? My bike sounds amazing. It's the daddy bike. Oh my God, I think I just named my bike. I just named my bike. My bike's name is Daddy. <laughs> I should have taken that turn back there. Oh well, what am I gonna do? Sorry, I had another moment. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, kids, I guess this is gonna be the, uh, the conclusion of 
a very rip-roaring and entertaining vlog. I apologize. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff coming. I have so many videos coming. You know, kind of uh, XSR 700 specific uh, sort of stuff. Uh, I need to do that sort of stuff uh, to get, uh, you know, more views and uh, more subscribers. So uh, it's what you guys want, or at least it's what uh, my audience wants, and that's what I need to do. So that's what I'm doing. Because I'm in this for the long, stinking haul. All right, kids, you be good. And I'll see you on the next vlog.